Texas dance halls, of course everybody looks to Texas because of this m mythological kind of uh, uh, legacy that we have and everything. Texas music is, is known around the world and, and uh, of course our culture is thought of uh, so highly amongst all of the world and, and the thing about Texas dance halls is that they were our one of the very first buildings that people built as the immigrants started coming here to for their community and it's where a lot of the community met danced fell in love got married you know all that kind of stuff and they're very it, it that kind of kept our those cultures alive regardless of what country they came from or something everybody felt like they had to have a hall and that's where they all met to continue their culture and their traditions and their language and their uh, of their dances and their and uh, trying to keep that sense of community. It's been so long since I've been on this stage, I forgot just how beautiful Copeland Dance Hall is. Y'all agree with that? No place but Texas, folks. How about a little Johnny Cash? What do you say, boy? <laughs> The dance halls were practically in every community, uh, particularly in certain areas of Texas where the immigration patterns were. And you could drive maybe 10, 15, 20 miles and you're at the next dance hall. So uh, there are many of the musicians that I've talked to uh, had a, a very lucrative uh, uh, career and never left Texas because they could just play the dance halls in their region and a lot of times they weren't known nationally or anything but they made a living for 40 or 50 years and Bob Wills is a good example I mean in the early days that's what he did as he traveled all over and as you go into different regions of Texas uh, you go over here and it's different than it is over here and so as Bob Wills and these musicians traveled they picked up other influences and it influenced their music and it had not been for the dance halls, we probably wouldn't have things like Western Swing or Cujunto or all of these kind of musics that were indigenous only to Texas. And so these things still to this day, there's even the younger guys now are, are embracing these dance halls and hopefully uh, they will continue to thrive and stuff, although there's many indications out there that they're threatened. <laughs> Today's, uh, there's a lot of things that are happening that uh, threaten the dance halls uh, besides natural disasters and, uh, and people's lack of interest sometimes and there's also you know new highways being built, urban sprawl, that kind of thing threatens a lot of our history of Texas in, in, in these dance halls and so it's, it's very daunting at this point to see a lot of these going away and, and, and you know, I've so many times I've seen them and they're just left in the field and they've just to begin to rot. There is some glimmers of hope. I mean, a lot of the young generation now, the young Texas country artists and stuff, love going back and revisiting their history. And they do that in the halls. And a lot of them now are touring the halls and, and bringing popularity back to the halls. But still, that's only scratching the surface of the hundreds and hundreds of halls that are in Texas, we need help, a lot of help, to keep these things alive and keep our history alive, our culture alive, and bring back a, a, a sense of pride into the smaller towns and the communities and stuff. So we have a, a lot of work to do, and once I think, and I, I'm convinced of this, once, if, if you've never visited a dance hall, once people have visited a dance hall and, and had that experience, they're going to come back because it's a beautiful thing. It's a, it's a wonderful, it gets you outdoors, usually the windows are open, there's great music, there's fellowship, there's food, all that kind of thing that sometimes we don't get in modern society, you know, when everybody's so busy about running from here to there and getting caught in traffic and careers and whatnot. The, the, this can bring it back home and people I know once they go they're gonna love it.